YouTube. Welcome back to another episode of EH Techniques. So today I'm going to show you guys how to crack a PostgreSQL server to get the credentials. Today I'm going to use a tool called Legion. There is already a, a tutorial on Legion. The link is below in the description. Today we are going to try and actually do a brute force attack on the possible SQL database that is running on Metasploitable 2 using Legion. So Legion is already pre-installed in Kali Linux from Kali 2020 onwards. You already find it installed. So you can open the applications menu, type Legion and it will be right there or you can open a new tab to sudo legion whichever you prefer so I'm a command line guy sudo legion so just give it um, a minute to start up then my metasportable tool is here if I do if config, this is the IP address 172.1702. Okay, so that's the one that I'm going to use. So, guys, uh, you notice something here that my Legion is not the window is not expanding well, I cannot see the minimize and maximize icons appear so wherever you encounter such a problem you can go to your settings go sorry to the application menu go to sentinel manager then go to windows manager keyboard then come here maximize windows horizontally so there's no shortcut here you can do edit click on edit then you can put any combination that you want. For me, I will do uh, window L, super L. So it tells me the shortcut is already been used. Okay. So let me do window shift. Okay. S or super plus the right shift key. Okay, so if I let's see if it will work, I'll come to the window, click on it, double click on it, then the window key with the right shift, and there it is. Okay, so it still has not max, it has maximized horizontally, but vertically, we do, it's not, it's not yet uh, expanded well. I still can't see the maximize, minimize and close icons. So you can just come back to the settings, uh, maximize window vertically, then I can do um, the window key with, let's do E or super plus E, then yep. Now it's right there. Okay. Now I can see the icons. So that's it, guys. If you ever encounter such a problem with Legion when open it for the first time, with the windows not maximizing or vertically or horizontally like you want, you can always do what I've just did. Now you can remember you already did a tutorial on Legion, so. I won't go into details. I'll just come here plus add add my host. Remember you can do IPs, IP ranges, hosts and domain names. So the IP is one seven two one seven zero two. Okay, I can come to my I can confirm it's here. 
I will leave everything as it is, then submit it. So, what Legion will do, Legion will uh, scan for host and services on that target. Then, it will also do some brute forcing automatically on the services that have been, or protocols that have been discovered. Okay. So, I'm just going to give it some time and I'll get back to it. Now we have more information. We are finding the other ports that are open, what protocol they are using, and the name of those services and the versions behind them. So, the one that we were interested in today is this one the post GreSQL database running on port 5432. It's open. Then if I go to the tabs here, the scripts, information, CEVs, notes, we have the screenshot here of port 80, we have the web services that are running. So the one that we are going to look at today is this one, Postgres tab. So we'll find some more information down below here. The tool that is behind is doing the cracking behind the scenes is Hydra, a brute forcing tool. Then the eight tasks per one server. It tried eight login tries. The attacking it was attacking this IP, the Metasploitable two, and this port five four three two. This one, the PostgreSQL port. Okay, so you can see that it was successful. We had a login Postgres and a password Postgres to tell us one of one target successfully completed, one valid password found. So just like that, we got the the default login for that Postgres SQL database. So this is the this is the danger of you leaving these uh, protocols or services with default passwords. It is as simple as doing a legion scan with the on the target. Then legion will also do the brute forcing. If the service is using a default uh, credentials, then the success rate is very high. Like you, you can see down here. So guys. Thank you for popping in. Uh, please remember to subscribe so that you don't miss any of these videos as I upload them. Thank you and God bless. See you in the next video.